So here we find on the Cycling 74 GitHub, the rainbow.example.webpage template. And so to use this web page template, you need to uh, click on the use this template and uh, fork it over as a template, uh, actually not as a fork, but as a template uh, to your own GitHub. So I've already done that. So if we go to my repositories, we should see rainbow test here um, and see it's copied everything there, including the, in the readme instructions. Um, so as a prerequisite, you need to have Node.js downloaded um, and you need to have NPM downloaded as well. Um, and then you want to, I'm going to be doing this on my, uh, on a local server, uh, sort of as the, uh, as is suggested here. And so you'll need to download your, uh, GitHub repository to your local machine. And so I use this, uh, the GitHub, um, desktop to download it. So I have a max patch here. And so I'm going to need to have a rainbow object to open that up. And what that does is it launches a new, um, window sort of like in gen, uh, where I can use the rainbow objects and build my rainbow object. So I'm going to just do a very, very simple test patch here, a sign tone with a game. So we'll need, uh, we could, I want to use one inlet and one parameter and then one audio outlet. So one data inlet. So we'll do in one. Uh, and then that will be giving the, um, the frequency to my cycle. So my sign tone generator, and then I'm going to want to have a multiplier to scale the gain. And I'm going to want to have a per parameter and it's going to be called gain. And I'm going to, I'm going to have it at zero just so the sign tone doesn't blast your ears when you go to the website. Um, and I will put, uh, at minimum to zero and at maximum to one, which is always a nice thing to do when dealing with gain. And then I'm not going to plug it straight in there because, um, uh, I, when I tested this yesterday, I got clicks. So I, uh, my sense is that it, for whatever reason, because of how the, the data flows, um, uh, in JavaScript, perhaps, um, it was causing clicks. Like, so if I was dragging it from 0 0.1 to 0 0.9, it would sort of click as I went. So I, it wasn't giving uh, granular enough of a data flow. And so what I'm going to do is just smooth the signal out a little bit, um, using a line object. So we're going to line tilde, and I'm going to, again, I want to give it silence at first and then the time it takes to finish the line. Let's just do, let's be safe and we'll do a hundred milliseconds. So it'll be sort of slow, but that's fine. So I'll get my parameter going into my line object and then multiplying that with my uh, oscillator there. And then I want an out tilde for audio out. And that I think is it for my rainbow object. So we can test it here. Um, so I'll give it an int there and let's do, oops, gain there and a float and then DAC. Now I think I need to do five and six for it to be heard in OBS. So go ahead and do that. All right, so we should hear nothing. And then, yeah, there we go. Good, so it's working. All right, so now I'm gonna export my rainbow object. Oh, actually, I don't wanna save it. I wanna export it. So here there is your little show export sidebar. And I want to do a web export. And by default, the uh, the GitHub re repository 
that I template that I have downloaded that um, I was just talking about. Um, it looks for the patch with this name by default. So you can go into the code and change that as you need. I'm not gonna look at that now, but if you change the name, you will need to change uh, that in the HTML file that's in the repository. Um, and you have to put it in the right place. And so the right place for that is, so here is my GitHub, I called it rainbow test. And then in export is where you wanna put your, um, your, um, your exported, uh, your web export rainbow patch. So copy sample, I have no sample dependency. So if you had a buffer with a sample in it, you would need to click that and it would copy that data over. Um, and that's it. So now let's save it. So we'll click that to export to selected target. And even though it's a tiny bit of code, it takes a few seconds because I believe that it's actually compiled on their server as in Cycling74 server. Um, so for whatever reason, it takes a minute. Um, and you also need to be connected to the internet, I believe. Okay, so there we go, successfully exported to target. So let's go back to this. So now um, I'm going to need to um, launch a local web server so that I can actually test it on, in my browser. So for that, you'll need some sort of uh, shell. So let me see what I have. I have the Anaconda PowerShell prompt. So in order to run it, we'll need to um, use this npx http hyphen server command, and we'll have to do it from the repository root. So from here, I'll go to documents. I think it's documents. Um, GitHub rainbow test. Let's see if that works. Yes, good. All right, so now I'll launch my server. Good, it seems to have worked. And now it will be available at these addresses. So I'll just, it's the same that are here, but I'll just copy that from here and paste it into my web browser. And there's my patch. So the template generates these things. So if I had a MIDI input, it would have a show. I, I think it would either show numbers here that I could click as if they're MIDI inputs or it would have a MIDI keyboard that I could click. Um, and then the import, so that is generated from my one inlet that I have to make the frequency. Outports, my output is only um, audio. So it, we will just hear it. So it doesn't sort of show there. Uh, I have no presets, so that's done. And then parameters, I defined one parameter, which I called gain, which you see here, and it instantiated at zero, so that's what we want. So let's give it uh, 300 hertz and send that, and then there we go. So that's basically it and how to use a template. And then from there, really, the sky's the lim limit in terms of... Um, kind of expanding it to have more interesting uh, user interfaces, um, which requires some knowledge of JavaScript, which I am slowly <laughs> getting there so that I can hopefully use uh, Rainbow more robustly, but but sort of as a basic test and a basic way of sort of getting it onto a web page, getting your Rainbow patch onto a web page, this template is a great place to start.